Today we are talking about ONNX or Open Neural Network Exchange Format and uh, I believe this is one of the more crucial parts when it comes to running and deploying machine learning models. So what is ONNX? Simply put, it is a file format that represents deep learning models also known as neural networks. So it holds architecture and parameters or weights. The primary use case for ONNX is to be able to easily move models between machine learning frameworks. So if you have a model trained in, let's say, PyTorch, it can be converted to ONNX format and then to other framework like TensorFlow. If you find some open source model that is made in TensorFlow, but you only work with PyTorch and you want to edit it in any way, ONNX format can be used to do that. You take that model, convert to ONNX, and then to framework of your choice. And there are many different converters for different machine learning frameworks. Now, the most important part, in my opinion, is deploying and running models. And here on NX uh, became like some sort of standard for deployment. If you convert your model to an NX, you can use tools like on NX runtime that can do the inference. And this gives us a few advantages. Number one is much cleaner production environment. Let's say you have a more complex scenario with a few neural networks and some of them are trained using Keras and some using PyTorch. In this case, if you use ONNX, you don't need to install specific versions of PyTorch or Keras when deploying your models, as you only need ONNX runtime, so it becomes way easier to combine multiple models. Also, there are performance gains. Uh, out of the box, ONNX runtime usually runs faster than other frameworks. In addition, you can also use specific backend providers with ONNX runtime, and that lets you leverage hardware you're using. For example, for NVIDIA GPUs, you can use CUDA or TensorRT backend providers. For Intel CPUs, you can choose OpenVINO, and uh, the list just goes on. This usually gives even better performance boost. So here's a simple example of how to export PyTorch model to ONNX and to run it. I use Google Colab so you can easily replicate everything yourself, and I will also leave the download link for this notebook in the description below. Okay, so at first we install uh, ONNX and ONNX runtime. We execute the cell with shift and enter keys. Okay, the, uh, these libraries are already uh, installed, but uh, the output may be uh, different for you. So um, next we import the required packages and we can see that uh, PyTorch is uh, running on CPU. Uh, we create a simple neural network with only three dense layers uh, with sigmoid activation functions and run the model on some sample data um, to check the response. And this is the response. And next we use a built-in PyTorch uh, function to export our model as on NX. We pass our model, example input, a path uh, where to save the model and uh, input and output layer names. And uh, as you can see, the model uh, was uh, converted successfully. In the next cell, we load the model by creating an inference session and run the same data to check that everything works as expected. And uh, as you can see, the results are the same from both PyTorch and uh, ONNX models. And we can check the inference speeds by running both PyTorch and ONNX models, uh, in this case for a, a thousand inferences and look at the average inference speeds. So here we go. As we can see, for this specific model, we can achieve about four times uh, faster inference using ONNX with ONNX runtime. Of course, uh, the speed gains can be smaller or higher depending on your hardware and model architecture. And uh, the only thing we did was using different model format and different library to run the model. So these are the benefits of using ONNX I wanted to share. Uh, importing models from other frameworks, having much cleaner production environment, and higher inference speeds. I hope you find this useful. Uh, that's it from me for today, and I'll see you in the next one.